Hey everyone, it's Andrew Cartwright here with your unemployment update for Tuesday, September 15, 2020. My birthday's coming up real soon. Also, tax day today for you escort people that filed an extension. Today's the day you got to get it in, so otherwise you get a penalty. Find out which state could be next in line to offer employees $15 minimum wage. Why nearly half of Americans without a job are struggling financially with little to no savings and how a new 1.5 trillion stimulus package could be back, back in the game with $600 weekly unemployment benefits. Please, if there is one, could you just do that? That'd be awesome. After this. For the best news and information on mastering, dominating, protecting, keeping your money, making your money, business, and your life, stay tuned to the channel. Also, get $900 by putting a random comment, and people say that. They say random comment. We answer, too. You should check out our answers. It's kind of funny. Um, we give away $900 to somebody in the comments that just randomly subscribes, likes, and comments. That's all you got to do. It's that simple. Also, grab your two, no, your Weeble stock below. You can open up an account. Get a stock up to $1,400 for free just for opening up an account. No catch. But first, a recent ballot initiative in the great state of Florida showed overwhelming, yes, overwhelming support for a $15 wage increase. Well, $15 wages, not increase. That'd be great, right? A whopping 67% of registered Floridian voters. Is that a word, Floridian? Yes, right? Voters plan to vote the increase that nearly double the state's current minimum wage over the next few years. It's not double, but it certainly is close. I hope that it comes out that way. If the vote gets at least 60%, that's what it takes to pass this approval in November, like what, 40 some odd days away or whatever, Florida's minimum wage will increase from $8.56, $8.56 to $10 in 2021. Now, each following year, we'll see a annual dollar boost in the minimum wage until it reaches $15 in 2026. So it's five years out from getting to the top line $15. Hopefully, we don't have what's called stagflation where prices increase by that same amount. That would not be good. Hopefully, we can create enough efficiency in our markets to reduce prices so that that $15 will be felt and enjoyed in just a better, better quality of life for these people. At this very moment, just seven states and Washington, D.C. have given the A OK to the $15 wage over the coming years, including these are the states that can count on it. These states are Connecticut, um, California, Illinois, Maryland, Massachusetts, New Jersey, and New York. If you're making 12 or $10 an hour, good for you. This is great news for all of my viewers in the Sunshine State, and I'm glad that more states are on the path towards a real livable wage of $15 an hour. Of course, businesses have to figure it out in their business model, but you just have to get better, I guess, more efficient, right? We just have to put on our thinking caps and figure out the model so it works. So you can still make a profit as a business. That's a business if you make money. Although on the stock market, you don't even have to make money. Amazon didn't make money for 20 years. That's like old news. They got IPO companies right now that are IPOing, which is an initial public offering that have not made money and they're in business. It's crazy. Meanwhile, a recent study shows that nearly half of the people that lost their jobs due to that thing out there currently have little to no money in emergency funds or savings accounts, they probably read the comments, right? We, like, we're pretty real in our community. It's pretty honest. I love the honesty. It's so awesome. This was conducted by Simply Wise. The uh, study showed that 45% of furloughed or unemployed workers could not survive for one month on their current savings, which is why it's imperative that we pass something because we got a cash cliff and we got people that are not going to be able to eat 
not going to be able to eat as a result of not having money. Over a quarter of Americans unemployed due to that thing out there, 26% stated that they could not make it two weeks on their emergency funds. Two weeks. Companies are similar, not far behind. The shocking numbers continued as 42% of Americans claimed that they could not cover a $500 tab without selling something or taking out a loan. Yes, so offer up and, and let go and Facebook Marketplace. Uh, a lot of people are going to probably be moving stuff around in those areas to keep it going. We got to do what we got to do, right? This is causing people to dig into their retirement accounts, into their savings. 27% of Americans planned on early withdrawals of their 401ks. Now, obviously, with the CARES Act, there's some actually caveats that actually allow you check with your financial advisor so you don't get penalized. You can actually not get penalized for certain things. Again, talk to your financial advisor. This is not supposed to be financial advice. These numbers, though, illustrate just how badly we need that extension to the enhanced unemployment benefits. It's systemic. It's a bigger problem than the politicians are even admitting at least until the end of this crazy year while we've got the virus and we've got restrictions and people are just scared. You know, even if we took all the restrictions off, a lot of people are going to slowly go into the normal. This is the new normal, right? This is, and I'm hearing more of that out in the public and in the comments. We got to adjust. This is the new normal. Finally, a recent proposal, 1.5 trillion stimulus package aimed to provide struggling Americans with the extended enhanced unemployment benefits, including, and I love this, the most popular, the number I like, even though some people, Republicans, it just, it's like nails on the chalkboard for them, $600 payments. Yes, that plus it, it gets people, some people get paid more money. Okay, like, why, why you got to be a Scrooge, right? Christmas is coming. Give them a little. You take every year for like the last 70 years. I think, you know, one year where you like give a, give a little that you're going to take back anyway. Come on. The new stimulus package proposed by the House Problem Solvers, which this would solve some problems. Problem Solver Caucus featured more popular stimulus items like another round that they all promised at some point in time. If you've been following and all the quotes that we've done, $1,200 check, the $1,200 stimulus check. Yes, the famous $1,200 stimulus check. The $500 billion for state and local governments. Now the Democrats want a trillion. So this is halfway because the, the lowest amount that we got from the Republicans was like $150 billion. So if they come to $500 billion, maybe there's some middle ground there. And importantly, further extension unemployment benefits. Like that's, that's really what we need. We got to have that, especially why we're... We got to ease back out of this thing at some point. This new proposal would offer eligible unemployment claimants with 450 weekly weekly federal benefits during an eight-week period. So it's not forever; it's a couple months or less, right? After this, the funds would be boosted. Yes, you get a bonus for being out of work, $600 weekly max, and will be capped at 100, 199%, 200% of your annual salaries. So they're okay with that, which for hospitality, is pretty much what they're getting is about double what hospitality is. But then you don't get tips, you don't get to be social, so you need medication because you're depressed. Anyway, I'm just kidding. If approved, this unemployment benefits would be available for 13 weeks. It's a little breathing room for people. Again, I hate all the uncertainty. Ranging from October to January of 2021, when we should be partying, 2021 style, with an automatic three-month extension added if the economic conditions meet certain parameters. That'll give us a little bit more relief that if we're still struggling with this, this new bipartisan stimulus package uh, seems to be a great idea for millions of struggling Americans. It would definitely help them. Give us the certainty. Give us the extension of those extra months if need be. Give us more pay in the interim than the $300, which was the best that they could do at the time. I mean, Trump found some money. Good for him. He did something. He, I mean, he did something. That's more than I can say about the 
reset, recess people that have been on recess that are back for 11 days now. Congrats to all of you out there, though, in Alabama, Arkansas, California, Florida, Georgia, Idaho, Illinois, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, New Mexico, North Carolina, Ohio, Rhode Island, and Utah that are currently collecting those sweet $300 and $400 weekly LWA benefits. They're not going to last, folks, but at least you're getting them. If you still have not applied for your unemployment benefit in your state, get, the, get it in. Do the stuff online with the, before the LWA runs out of money. These, the, the bank account's going to be empty real soon. These life-saving funds won't be available for long, so get, get the financial help that you need to get through the rest of this crazy year. Remember the PUA, P-U-A, and the UI, the bottom stuff without the perks, without the boosts, go to the end of the year. So don't forget to file because you think that they've stopped. A lot of people stopped filing because they heard the bonuses were gone. The basic, the basic, which is like 45%, like not much, but still something, is still there through the end of the year. So don't miss out on that so you at least can survive, right? So to all those gig workers and self-employed and independent contractors and 1099 workers, small businesses, these unemployment benefits that you can apply for, that you are like eligible and capable to get, you got to check with your local state government to check what, what the qualifications there are according to the site. But PUA, P-U-A, P-U-A the pandemic unemployment assistant is for you, for those side hustlers, part-time people, for the gig workers that are entrepreneurs today. Yeah, if you're an entrepreneur, you, yes, you. Get your state benefit plus the extra $1,800 or $2,400. And remember, don't tell me you have a job if you didn't have one. That unemployment check is not going to get to you because you'll end up being like, oh, you're fraud because you filed and you, did, you didn't have a job. If you had a side hustle or a business and you didn't pay into the system, it's okay. It's okay. You still, it's part of the CARES Act. They covered everybody. It's that simple. Check with your state unemployment for the PUA guidelines. Sometimes they have separate sites for the PUA. Just be honest as possible. Tell the truth. Just tell the truth. Lay it out like it is. Get the money that you deserve in your bank account. Yeah, you didn't pay into it, but that doesn't mean that you can't get it to survive during these tough times, right? Thank you so much for watching. Keep sharing your experience. A lot of people are tweeting this out, retweeting it, and sharing it on their Facebook, and actually sharing it on YouTube. Thank you so much. Remember, put a comment. Could be random. Could be random comment, right? Could be your hair color, eye color. I, I, it doesn't matter. $900 when we hit 90,000 subscribers, we're picking a random comment that subscribes, likes, and comments. That's it. And I wanna give away a lot more money as we grow and get deeper into all these subjects. Take care. I'm Andrew Cartwright. I love you.